If you have been on this channel in a time, you'd know I'm a Bojack Horseman fan and I believe in the best show ever. But what you would also know about me is that I love art and do an art analysis of my thing. And so I thought why not mix these? And because I'm a psycho, we're doing it counter alphabetic. All good? Good. So here is every Bojack Horseman painting explained and classified. Okay, so there's a character and through six seasons doesn't own a house until the very end of the show. And when he does that and go on for the shenanigans of making a delicate housewarming party, the paintings he got was from the set of Birthday Dad, which is to me and probably to you is just classic Todd. Then I looked even harder for paintings in situations that focused on Todd and his relationship with someone, and I found these two. As in season 5 episode 3, when he was at his then girlfriend's parents' house in between all these erotic works of art, that is the one. This is a representation of Georgia Okafe's single lily with red, but it is a bluer background. Lilies as a flower, especially when alone, mean an apology for leaving. But not only that, as in the OG painting, Georgia wanted to express the flower's beauty and uniqueness, both traits that the episode addresses. And come on, the background is blue, Todd's hair is blue, the suit he is wearing is another blue, it is obvious. But away from the axolotls, the other painting I want to talk about appears in Chavez's house. And it is a painting of a lonely kid that is moving out to a greener place. And at that an episode in the end of the show, I'm sure it tends to the journey Todd went through. Thrown out, moving through a hard desert-like path, landing at Bojack's couch, and finally the good days came to him and the CV he made with his shenanigans. That's too much, man. The best alleged depiction of that Hannah Montana girl that I don't remember her name anymore, nor her wrecking ball. But back to Sarah in her house doesn't appear at all in the show until the 11th episode of that season. On her 9 month sober day, Sarah Lynn wakes up in her bed and above her head is the Ophelia painting. Ophelia here being the infamous Shakespearean one from Hamlet, depicting her death after a lot of traumatizing events. The flora and fauna in Sarah Lynn's is the same of the OG's painting. So we can say that the flowers depicted have the same meaning. Daisies are associated with pain and innocence. Fancies refer to love in vain. Violets which Ophelia wears in a chain around her neck tends for the death of the young and the poppy signifies death. Sarah Lynn. As you can see, too much foreshadowing for what is coming. Second and third painting appear in the scene where Sarah Lynn is showing Bojack every drug hiding place in her house. On the right, there are lemons, which of course you can link to the scene with Cardroid Jackson Jackson and that erotic lemon gag, something you'd expect Sarah Lynn to glorify and intensify. And the last painting we see here completes for us the trilogy of death. The painting's equivalent in real life at birthday or the anniversary. It is supposedly a loving painting that was made to show how it makes someone fly above the skies once in love. But I don't think it is the meaning here. I believe it's what painted to Sarah Lynn. Even if it always told her she loved her and she was an icon, but it stole her dreams and life away. And to top it all, does Sarah Lynn tell us this painting is made of? LSD. Sarah Lynn is a character that has been failed a lot and didn't find that love at all. And if you look at the two paintings that have people in them, the common factor is Sarah Lynn herself. She became self-absorbed with high levels of Everyone has failed her and she also has failed herself. Ah, fish. Princess Carolyn is a cat, but not just any cat. A cat that always land on their feet. And because she was a cat, they had to link her to Louis Wayne. Who's Louis Wayne, you might ask? Last video me will answer you. He was a man that captured every feeling and every scene using cats. Click pause. See this? These paintings were once of Louis Wayne, and on his style, this was made to give happy Nirvana like feeling. Something to make PC feel better after a long day of unsufferable dicks. Oh, another Georgia Okafe. Looks like the Boja Horseman team loves her work. The painting on itself is good, but do you realize what's not good about it? It appears at the fertility doctor's office PC went to during season 4. And why is it there? Jimison Weed as a flower, which is also the name of the painting, was used in old folk medicine, so maybe that's why it was used here. Maybe to hint as how bad this doctor is, or just to show that PC's dream of becoming a mother won't happen because the flower is also a hallucinogen. I'm bringing up hallucinogens. It is the 80s! Metallica is the new cool kid that all parents stop kids from listening to, 
and houses are actually affordable. BC was sitting in her mother's house watching TV while her siblings fought like cats, and the mother is happy behind them. Very 80s kid experience. But what is more important than the family is the painting that is hung up there. That painting is very fairy tale style, with a resting duck on its plate living the life. It represented happiness. Hope. Are the other good feelings with subtle day? Yeah, happy stability. You got the idea. Painting was what BC wanted wanted for herself all along, to be a great successful woman and a mother, to have that fairy tale life, which is what happens, so maybe good for her. Who's that dog? The joy of the show, the one who makes your birthday or breaks your morale, sad dog and great writer, it's... Mr. Peanut Butter's journey is divided into two parts, one in the old house that ended up well... Stupidly, while the other is the new smart house with the very wise coin sorter and thermostat. The first part looks just like Mr. Peanut Butt. He can see portraits of himself everywhere, and not pictures, drawn portraits, with different styles and color palettes. Which reminds me of someone. Which gives you what everyone says about him, a textbook narcissist. And again, we all know where that led him. And beside that are paintings of the things he loved more than Diane. An absurdist cubist painting of tennis balls following the say the more the better that we see in his and Todd co-pilot shenanigans. And the final touch of artistic criteria chosen for his house is the painting above the bed of everything a dog can love to put in their mouth and some normal food for you and Diane. The next house's art can be composite into two pieces, both of course centered around dogs. First one is the dog that is smelling the flower but is looking at the other dog's bottom, something that dogs are infamous for. It talks the nature of Mr. Peanut Butter, he can't enjoy a time alone, he must have a companion, one after another. The other the painting is the dog in the Springfield, but this time it is alone. No one is there to hurt or disturb, and she looks quite happy. It's calming and relaxing. But after looking at these two, my head kept spinning and spinning till it found the connection. The dog in that painting is the same as the dog in the first one. She was undisturbed until the other dog that looks very male came into her life. This can be a representative of every woman Mr. Peanut Butter got in their life. And we can see this in what Diane told him. Keep dating women in their 20s. I do do that. They're not fully formed yet. Life changes people. It's a catastrophe. Her was and still one of the characters that I love the most in the Bojack show. Got fired because he was gay, but that didn't change his good heart, and he dedicated the rest of his life to charity. He was all his life a comedian, and comedy has a special place in my heart. We see paintings that decorate Herb's house only once in the episode Bojack. It's visibly. The paintings are all concentrated in the hall between the living room and the bedroom. Will appear in the fighting scene over the television. Let's go. We can see the close to the bedroom a painting of a nude horse. As we all know, Herb had a crush on Bojack, and it looks like he had something for horses. Moving forward, we found random geometric cubist paintings. These were very famous to own during the 90s, and we know half of these characters are still mentally trapped there. Two other cubist paintings can be seen close to Bojack, one of a kiss and one of a dance. Kisses in the realm of Bojack Horseman most of the time mean a relation destroyer or the beginning of its demise, like we see with a lot of characters. This kiss can take us back to the night Bojack and Herb shared a kiss, and it was the beginning of the demise of their relationship. And then a dancing woman painting, which can be showing that Herb is finally letting the laughing off of his chest, his hatred towards Bojack. It's just damage. Female Bojack, if we might say, a talented ghostwriter, can try to memoir, but writes Ivy Tran the food court detective instead. Diane is a very good woman with art, and through her journey through the show, she goes by many, many paintings. Some of aren't at her place, but the one that most belonged to her was a Monet. Which exact one? I don't know. But it belongs to one of the Japanese bridge series. It had the same landscape and shape of bridge. Just 
missing the woman, which she can be Diane herself moving into a new state of her life while she is on her own. Just after that, Diane goes to Vietnam to reconnect with herself and her ethnic background. But what we can see in the background of her hotel room is the White Tiger, which in Vietnamese culture is depicted as the guardian of the western borders. And I think you can see the resemblance here. She can get involved in her culture because, like she says herself, I am American. And he's refusing to let her in. Next two pieces are very connected and gonna take us forward to the sixth season. The first one is a blossoming flower bush at the relation between Diane and Guy start, while the second one is after Guy smuggled Diane outside after his son came home to visit. You can see the plant is dead, as what Diane is feeling that she is not a lover but rather a plaything for Guy. The final one comes also to Diane and Guy's relationship. As we can see above their bed is four women boating through the river. What a boat most of the time symbolizes is the journey you have in life. And that sinks with what Diane went through with exact number of phases. Family till meeting Mr. Peanut Butter, with Mr. Peanut Butter after leaving him till meeting Guy, and the last one if through her life with Guy to the end of the show. A full circle. Holly Hogg doesn't have much paintings of her own, but only one related of two cats playing a piano, one forcing the other because the best friend's rich boyfriend. Beatrice Horseman appears with her multiple painting the point at her life theme. A horse that looks at a happy ending while her parents are fighting because the Lulu. Ballet room in her party because she liked ballet, duh, and a sad clown young horsey because Bojack. Evil woman's howled that I don't even remember her name and won't talk about it because I hate her, but there they are. And finally, Anna, the representative slash lover of Bojack through season 3. Her house has a bunch of cubist paintings to look smarter and more cultured than she really is. It was nice while it lasted. Bojack's house is the most visited through the show, and one that had most changes along the years. What is a better beginning than the beginning itself? Season 1 we start with the most famous painting of the show, the depiction of Narcissus, or the foreshadowing of the finale, Pick Your Fighter. To me, it's an acronym to Bojack's own narcissism, as in season 6 we can see it removed. Outside of the office, there is a wheat field picture, which is because Bojack is a horse, horses love wheat, yeah, obvious. Next to it is an inward version of the dance by Henry Metathy, and the virgin Bojack has contained all the most important characters in his life. Himself, PC, Mr. Peanut Butter, Diane, and... Yeah... Oh! Oh stop, give me! This adult was a gift of Beatrice to Bojack and exactly a representative of what their relationship was. The sad clown horse is now old, virgin bluey because of all the drugs in their system, smelling an odor that reminds them of something while crying because they think they are alone. Modern horse, chess horse, mosaic horse, another modern horse. Hey. Ah. All these are again because Bojack is a horse, and that denies what the therapy horse, not therapist, a subtle but legally important distinction, is saying. And a sunset painting that looks like a butt. Another painting with that bad? Ah, very well. As we all know, the dream Bojack had in the finale wasn't the first time that it occurred in his mind. And it can be that he commissioned these paintings to help the people inside her mind get rid of that bird. Other versions of Bojack's house paintings appear in the Halloween episode. In 93, a year sponsored by Keith Haring, apparently, you can find the painting Dancing Dogs, but instead of the dogs, there are a horse and a serpent, which can be Bojack and how he felt about Mr. Peanut Butter for copying his show. The other is American Museum. Music festival because it's the early 90s, bro. And back there, there are some Yu Gi Oh! fusion cards, apparently. Doesn't matter. 2004. Bojack drifted from Keith to Picasso, then drifted away from Cubism in 2009. Yet the rest of the characters were too poor to change their decor, but Bojack doesn't change it after, so. Who is he to judge? The last painting that we see in Bojack's house ever comes to us hot and tasty from the finale, and it is all hey, because half of the new family that lived there are cows. Yeah, but outside of us out there, there are a lot of foreshadowing. 
one that we see above his head in the hotel room with that reporter horses running with the back the scene that Bojack sees when he decides to not try suicide because nobody's worth it at the end of the season. In the fish hotel you can see a couple of Picasso figures on a beach which doesn't have meaning but that the team who worked on backgrounds loved cubism very much. It is literally every other painting. Next is Cahill Expressway by Jeffrey Smart. It talks to the modern world and its ethics. They both betray the best friend by doing each other for a brief moment of pleasure and we know what happened between Bojack and Todd after this one. You had sex with Emily? So what about rehab? We have paintings comes in pairs by a fancy room. A flower and a picture of Van Gogh cause sure whatever. I believe it's made to say that all rehabs are the same and you're gonna drink again no matter what you do. Allegedly of course. Haha <laughs> don't that. In rehab center they show us a beautiful scene of how different people see the same thing and express it. We have a detailist, a generalist, an expressionist. Take your anger out and I'm sure that one over there is a Mario flower. I guess this way we have ended them all. What? No? Okay. Bath of Venus, Blue Town, Water Lilies, Lemon like Sarah Lynn's and Corduroy's, Patent Flowers Curve That 70s House, a painting that reminded PC of that old painting, Acacias, Marsilius and Dogs, and do? That's it? This one was filled with animals to the brim, but if you still didn't get enough, why don't you check this one? We talk about pets and what are they hiding. See you on the next one, and consult your lawyers.